Okay, so today we're gonna make a more simplified video how to make these uh, wind spinners that anybody can make. Okay guys, so this is gonna be a relaxing short video and this is actually a relaxing thing to do, right? So this is, I believe, cedar. Okay, I'm not too sure of the size. Maybe they're like uh, six inches, seven inches. Uh, it's like half inch thick or quarter inch thick. You guys can make these pieces any size you want. You can make them like thicker this way. You can make them longer. You can make them shorter. You can do anything you want with this, guys. And when you drill your holes, okay, they don't have to be dead center. I'll show you what I mean by that later in the video, okay? So, uh, you know, you guys can use any wood that you want. Me and Pete have talked about it, my friend Pete, and he maybe thinks that heavier wood's better because it, when it's really windy, they don't swing around like this and they'll just spin. Or if you want to put a weight on the bottom of it and it will just kind of sit there and spin, not kind of flow around in the wind. And um, But it doesn't matter, guys. It's basically whatever type of wood you have, you know. All you need is a saw. If you don't have a saw, you can get somebody with a saw that can cut these up for you. Real simple, guys. You know, you can get those... Uh, what are they called cedar slats at the home depot your big hardware store you just slice them in half and you cut them to size and they don't have to be cut perfectly to size like these i don't know if you see these but these aren't cut perfectly to the size right see so the ones that are cut perfectly to size well almost perfect i got them in a pile and the shorter ones i keep over here and i'll keep those on put those on the ends so you guys this is something called ready rod for those of you that don't know some of you guys don't know this is a locking nut on the end of it okay you see there's plastic inside of there this automatically locks okay and then you use a washer so this will be the top piece the top part of the piece okay and then you my friend al drilled a little hole in the ready rod for me there you don't have to drill a hole through it maybe you can't so there's obviously some other ways you can do it if anybody's got any ideas i'd love to hear in the in the descriptions for people that are want to try this okay so this is ready rod you see it just like a threaded threaded rod that's what it is that screws that bolts go on to okay this is quarter inch so this one is i believe three feet it's good i'm gonna put the pieces on here right now and then I'll cut it shorter to length after I got the pieces on. So uh, let me set my camera on the tripod and get going. Okay, guys, so I got all the pieces on here. Okay, so let's see. So now I got to take this outside with my grinder. You can use a, a saw or whatever you got. But I'm going to zip this off and put the nut, nut and uh, washer on here, okay? And it will start tightening this whole thing up, right? Okay guys, so I've got it cut off with my zip cut disc with my grinder. Like I said, you could use a saw to take it off. It's not very thick. I got a washer and a nut. And these are the Loctite nuts that I'm saying, guys. It's got plastic in there. You see it inside there? That's plastic, right? So it locks up or rubber or whatever you want to freaking call it. So I put the washer and the nut on. Right? Tighten it up. I'll get this on a bit. But look, I got an extra piece of rod for another wind thing on another day, if I can get it in the drawer. Okay guys, so I got it all tightened up, right? So I got a little wrench here for this uh, bolt. I put it here, but also I had to use these pliers on this side so this wouldn't keep spinning, right? So I just locked it up that way, held this, and turned that wrench. So now... This is not a step you have to do. You, you don't even need to do it. I do it though because I'm going to be drawing on this, I guess, maybe. So this is an orbit sander with 80 grit on here. And I'm just going to kind of sand it uh, quickly, go over it and sand everything nice and flush. Like I said, it's not, a, it's not something that you have to do. Okay guys, so now I got it laid out, and now I'm going to draw my shape, which I'm going to cut out. I got my center one marked on here, approximately center. So you can make your shape, uh, Pete, my buddy Pete does hearts, he sells lots of those. You can make it, you know you can do this, you can make a tree, you can do whatever you want to do. 
So, but this one's just going to be round. I'm just going to kind of, you can, you can start it right here or you can start it out here. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. So like guys, this is very basic stuff. Okay. So there, so there's one side. I'll do the other side. Okay guys. So you can see, I got it laid on there now. I've just quickly did it. Don't care about the shape. It's good to have a jigsaw guys. So what I'm going to do now is I can't uh, film it, but I'm going to cut, cut out the outside line with this jigsaw. Okay. Okay. You guys can see here. I got, got it cut out. Let's see if we can stand this thing up. So there, it's not perfect. It's work because I don't care. So anyways, now, um, I'm going to get my, uh, orbit sander again with the 80 grit and just, uh, clean up these edges. And once again, guys, it's not something that you have to do. Okay. But it's just something I'm going to do. Okay, guys. So you can see here, I'm back in the uh, carving table area and it's not perfect. If you want to make it perfect, by all means, go ahead and make it perfect. But I just didn't have the time or patience. So you can see here. Oh, another thing I want to make a suggest too, if you guys are going to put your little drill, your little holes in, um, your metal there if you make it flat before you drill it like if you got a file or something it, it, it's a lot easier to get the the drill through there because it's trying to roll off the edges but if it's flat on the ready rod you see how it's flat there and just punch center punch a little hole in there and then drill it it's a lot easier okay anyways so now is the time where you can paint it if you got if you're if you're older and you got grandkids and you want them to paint something on there you can paint it you can stain it you can do whatever you freaking want to do with it right do you know what i mean so i got a wood burner so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wood burn a flower up here and some petals kind of coming down it i was gonna carve a wood spirit in here like carve that out make his nose right here carve it out and mustache down here but nah i'm gonna do a flower on one side and a tree on the other side i'm not gonna film doing it but i'm gonna do it with my uh, razor razor tip sk with the heavy duty hand piece of the heavy duty cable with my own wire in there okay so you guys like i said th at this point of the piece before you spin it see how, okay let's see if i can just one hand I got it pretty tight, but okay, you can see there the piece is spinning. Before you spin it, it's best to do your painting or whatever when it's flat, okay? And if you're going to lacquer it or put a sealant on it, I suggest you do that when it's when it's already got its shape because if you're going to lacquer it or put some kind of clear coat on it, when it's already in its shape, it will kind of glue the pieces together so they don't move around so much during the season, right? Because anyways, so I'll stop talking and start uh, wood burning. Okay, unless I'm really tired, I try my best never to complain in my videos or in real life. 
But what the hell was I thinking? I'm complaining now. That's just too much wood burning in an hour. Should have taken me 20 years. Oh boy, what was I thinking? So we're going to call this video. What were you thinking, Jordy? What the frick were you thinking? Okay, guys, so I'm pretty well done uh, the wood burning. This video is not on wood burning or any that kind of stuff or whatever you want to paint on here. I just uh, got it done, okay? So it is what it is. Okay, the video is how to make these things, not how to friggin' wood burn on them. Anyway, so I'm going to put my camera on the tripod and uh, yeah, hold on. Okay, so I've decided, like I said, guys, you can do whatever you want with these. I've decided I want to paint this outside edge black. Okay, so I got some dollar store acrylic paint here. I got a special carving fusion paint tray. Look at this. It's even a see-through one. So I got the black paint in there. And so I'll put this down here. And then I'll start painting this edge black. When it's still shaped like this, right? Okay, so I'll get this done and then I'll be back once that's done. I tell ya, I brought this outside to do some work work on it, and look what do I find outside here? Oh, a nice strawberry pie. It's great having neighbors that own a bakery. It sure is. <laughs> I know what I'm having for dinner. Jordy, you ask, why are you burning the edges? Well, I can. Okay guys, you can see there how I burnt it a little bit, just kind of gave some highlights on the outside. So, but uh, now I gotta start unfolding this and making it into the windy thing pattern. But I'll do that after I'm done with this, because I'm gonna be busy for about 30 seconds. <laughs> okay guys, so here we go, all the sides are painted. Like I said, I got hair burnt a bit, all the flowers carved in, here's a black spot. Okay, so this is with, you start turning the piece. Sometimes it's good to loosen these bolts on the end to turn it a bit, but let's see how it goes. And I want to say something. When you do a, a painting or a carving or, or, or carving on it or something like this, you, can, you shouldn't really give it a full turn. Like this, I'll do it right now, okay? That would be called a full turn, okay? Like see how it's on edge there? See? Okay, that's it. You could, but I'm just going to do halfway, okay? So you can see here, I've just gone halfway on each one. That's how, that's how easy it is, guys. Okay? They don't have to be perfect. And once you get these into place, it really helps to tighten up your bolts. But also, I'm going to poly shade this, a real light brown color, because the poly shade will act as glue too. In my opinion and it will stick these two pieces together so when they're spinning over the year they can't move they're kind of stuck into place right so I'll get done spinning this thing and uh, I'll be back okay guys so you can see the things all twisted I tighten the bolts these ends get a little bit bigger once you tighten out the bolts okay so I got this uh, poly shade min wax this is classic oak color okay so you guys, when you do this, this is the latest Minwax stuff I had, so that's why I chose this color. Okay, so I, it's going to take me a while to put it. i got to make sure I get all sides, right? Like you got to get up in here and then up in here, so it takes a while to do. But, you know, it's like anything. The more you spend, the more time you spend with it, the better it's going to look, right? So, okay, so I'll get this finished, and then uh, once again, I'll be back, and we'll talk about the spinny things I use. Jordy gets, Jordy gets, but Jordy's still hungry. Hi, Bap. Hi, kids. Okay, watch this. I'll have to say milk, like, like milk, two or three times. Welcome to NW. What can I get for you? Hi, can I get a team burger combo with uh, no tomatoes, extra pickles, with the onion rings? And which drink would you like? Uh, milk. Plain or chocolate? Oh, plain please. Plain milk, okay. Okay. That's everything? Uh, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Can't freaking believe it, karma. 
Jordy gets. Hi, Bap. Hi, kids. Hi, family. Okay, guys. So when I'm waiting this to, for this thing to get tacky here, um, I turn it so I don't get any, uh, what's it called, uh, like drip stains. So this is a fishing lure swivel, okay? Jordy gets. These ones here are ball bearings, okay? Then hit this part, they have ball bearings, right? Like this, okay? So ball bearing interlock swivel. You know, you can get them in packs like this too. But get the ball bearing ones, guys. They last the longest. Also, guys, for these holes here, you can just use fishing line. Fishing line works just as well. But myself, I like to use the ball bearing ones. Okay? And I like using these because they just uh, hook in. See that hook? And it just hooks up there. So I'll get this on and I'll be back. Okay, guys, you can see here how this is on there. And it spins, right? So I got this wire on here. This is another thing too, guys. You can use fishing line. I just happen to have some of this wire around. So, um, actually, I just bought it at the store with these swivels. Just kidding. But anyways, so uh, let's go hang her up downstairs and see what uh, see what she's made of. Huh? It's your guys art it's your guys' art you guys do what you want Jordy why did you put that copper piece on down this piece here well because it's got a real sharp point on it and maybe it might just I don't know stab something Ely what do you think about it What are you doing, Dooley? Hey! It's your guys' art. Do what you want. Don't do it! What are you up to today, Jordy? Oh, not too much. Just gonna sit in my chair and watch my wind spinner. That's right, the one with the flower on it and the tree on it. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. That's right. Also, guys, these make great gifts. Later.